Season 7 of Disney Speedstorm has finally arrived, and with it we have a brand new collection added to the game. That's right, our 16th collection in Disney Speedstorm is none other than Wreck-It Ralph, as I'm sure you all know. And with the Wreck-It Ralph collection, we have 5 brand new racers, Ralph, Penelope, Calhoun, King Candy, and Fix-It Felix. And in today's video, I'm going to tell you how you can complete this collection and unlock all these racers as easily and as cheaply as possible because guys this is a rough collection to complete it's going to take a lot of time a lot of effort and above all a lot of money however i do really think that if you play your cards right this season you can complete this collection for free and i'm going to tell you just how you can do that in today's video so without further ado let's hop into it starting it off with the easiest racer Fix It Felix Jr. Now Fix It Felix is incredibly easy to unlock like literally Looking at tier 1 of the Golden Pass, you get 5 Fix-It Felix shards for completely free. You don't need to buy the Golden Pass or anything, you just need to get to tier 1, you get 5 shards, and then on tier 5 you get 6 shards. So like, it's, it's really easy to get Fix-It Felix shards. Um, you can also unlock him from his season box, which will be here whether you have him unlocked or not. However, I would not recommend spending any tokens or any season box credits on Felix's box, and that is simply because in this whole Golden Pass Part 1, there are 30 free shards for Felix, which is already enough to get him up to 2 stars, and then in Part 2 of the pass, there's going to be 30 more free shards for Felix. And then if we take a look at the season tour over here, there are plenty of shard rewards for Fix-It Felix as well. So you can see five shards right there. I think there were five shards in chapter one, and I'm sure there's plenty of other rewards in chapters three, four, and five. And that's not even including part two of the season tour. So yeah, there will be no shortage of Fix-It Felix shards being handed to you this season. So do not spend money on his box or your box credits on his box unless you really, really love him and you like desperately want him to five stars for whatever reason. Um, more power to you, but I would not personally do that. Moving on to the second racer, um, Vanellope Von Schweetz. Now, Vanellope is a lot harder to unlock. There are 10 or 15 shards for her right on tier 1, but you have to purchase the Golden Pass in order to get her. But don't worry, if you can't spend $10, that's okay. There are two other methods of unlocking Vanellope for free. This first one is only going to last the next 27 days. The Golden Pass Credit Pack is available in the shop, where you can essentially spend 990 tokens to get the Golden Pass, um, it's just buying the Golden Pass like how we used to be able to buy it. Um, so you can do that for the next 27 days, you know, grind ranks multiplayer, get your characters up to higher ranks, earn those free tokens, buy one of the Golden Pass credits, buy the Golden Pass, boom, Vanilla P is unlocked as long as you're at tier 1. And then there are 70 shards for her throughout the entirety of the Golden Pass Part 1. However, maybe you start playing during the part two of the season, or you know you don't have the golden pass credits unlocked, um, or you don't have enough tokens, or you don't want to grind rank multiplayer for whatever reason. If you can't get your hands on a golden pass credit before it goes away from the shop, the other method you have of unlocking Vanellope for free rather than just spending ten dollars on her pass, which is obviously the easiest method. Um, but there is a new feature in Disney Speedstorm: these golden are uh, not these golden, these Wreck-It Ralph capsules right here. And if we take a look at these Wreck-It Ralph capsules, there are four of them in the Golden Pass. I believe two you can get for free and two are paid. Now in these capsules, there is an 18.62% chance of you getting two to five Vanellope shards, 35% chance of you getting King Candy shards, and a 46% chance of you getting Fix-It Felix shards. So from the two free capsules you get, if you are lucky enough, you can pull Vanellope shards, I believe, as a free-to-play player. And this is actually really nice. It gives a free-to-play play it gives a free-to-play player, um, you know, a way to at least get some shards for the premium racer. Even if you aren't lucky enough to fully unlock Vanellope, at least if you play through the pass as a free player, you can get a couple of shards. Additionally, if you start playing if you start playing during part two, there will be a unlock pack available in the shop for Vanellope somewhere around here. Um, I'm not sure how much it's going to cost, but it will probably be tokens and not an in-app purchase. So you'll be able to grind for Vanellope that way by purchasing her unlock pack. But it will probably be better value for you to get the Golden Pass credit and just get the Golden Pass now because the Golden Pass is insane value and by far the best money um, that you can spend on the game or the best tokens that you can spend on the game via Golden Pass credits. But moving on past Vanellope, let's go into 
King Candy. Now, King Candy is the limited event racer. He's also the free racer, um, so he has his box right here that you can purchase at any time. In fact, I'll get one right now because why not, right? Um, and there could be King Candy shards in here, as you can see. I didn't unfortunately get any, but it's very possible you can spend your box credits on it. Again, I wouldn't necessarily recommend this because he is the free racer, and you might want to save it for some of the harder to obtain characters. But as you can see, two King Candy shards right there, a very viable method of unlocking him. And then he has the limited event, Your Candiness King Candy. And as you can see right here, there are plenty of King Candy shards up for grabs. Plus, he is in the capsules in the Golden Pass. And on top of that, um, he has his own capsules in this event. So if you don't get enough shards for him for here, from here for whatever reason, when you earn one of these capsules, which you can literally get by just having any level 15 character, you can get one capsule. And then if you have an LP, you get an additional one. And in these capsules, it is all built around King Candy. There is a 15% chance to pull um, some of his shards. It's only a one to three chance, uh, or one to three shard pull, unfortunately. But um, yeah, these, these are totally built around King Candy. They're basically King Candy capsules, even though they call them Wreck-It Ralph ones, I believe. So that's how you're going to get King Candy, just through playing through his events. Um, they did change it so that you only have two tries a day, which is interesting. I don't think it really matters, considering it's going to last um, all through the first part of the season. We have 24 days, so you know, two tries a day, it's like... Okay, I'll just play it the next day, I guess. It's a, it's a bit of an interesting change, in my opinion. It doesn't really put a time crunch on it. It just makes it a little more annoying. So I don't I don't exactly know why they did that. But yeah, that's how you're going to be unlocking King Candy. And like I could very easily get him right now just by playing the event with my level 20 Vanellope. Um, and even if you just have Fix-It Felix at level 20, you can get three shards and a capsule and then three more shards right there from those three objectives, which is six shards plus a capsule for him and then if you pulse he's easy to he's easy to unlock he's one of the free characters is basically the point i'm getting at moving to the next character that we will be able to unlock at some point in the next 25 days i believe in 14 days and 19 hours is when we're really going to be able to unlock him is wreck it ralph now wreck it ralph is the season tour character and there are no shards available in chapter one there are no shards available in chapter two there are two shards available in Chapter 3, so you're going to need um, 90 total medals in order to get Wreck-It Ralph. So throughout these five chapters, focus on getting as many medals as possible. There are some tough races, you guys. We got Meg, and we got Jafar, and you, there's just you guys know the season tours by now. Captain Gontu. They want ridiculous characters at ridiculously high levels in order for you to get the amount of shards that you need. And then if you fully want to unlock Wreck-It Ralph, not only are you going to need this one where you need 123 of the 1268 medals, but that will only net you 8 Wreck-It Ralph shards. So to get the final 12, you are going to need 136 of the 168 medals. Or sorry, you need 163 of the 168. So you can only miss 5 medals across the 5 chapters of the season tour, which is a steep requirement. However, if you only find yourself getting the 2 shard or the 6 shard um, requirement for Ralph, like if you can only get the shards for him in chapters 3 and 4, that is not a big deal because in the next part of the season tour, after these 25 days are up, there will be more Wreck-It Ralph shards up for grabs, um, so you can still unlock him even if you only get like the 6 shard drop and you miss out on the 12 one. Obviously try and get all the shards you can so you can star up Wreck-It Ralph, but if you do miss out on some shards, it's not a big deal because part 2 of the season tour will give you a whole nother opportunity to earn 20 shards for Ralph. So as long as you get, you know, 6 shards, uh, again, chapter 4 is really what you should be aiming for to complete. Chapter 5 is kind of just the bonus if you want to star up Wreck-It Ralph. And then moving on to Calhoun, this is a character that is just currently unobtainable right now. The only way we're going to be able to get her is in 25 days when part 1 of the Golden Pass is over. And then she will be obtainable exactly like Vanellope if we look right here. There are absolutely no ways to get her shards except for daily specials and I don't think she's really going to pop up there a lot. But yeah, after the 25 days is up for part 1 of Sugar Rush, Sergeant Calhoun's gonna pop up, and it, the Golden Pass is going to look a lot like this. It's gonna look very, very similar, except for Vanellope will be replaced with the Sergeant. You know, these capsules, they're going to have King Candy, Fix-It Felix, and Sergeant. And, you know, everything's just gonna be replaced. Swap out Vanellope for Sergeant, and then Vanellope will be put in the shop as an unlock pack, and Sergeant will just take her place in everything else. 
and then we'll get a whole nother set of season tour chapters with more Bracket Ralph shards. So yeah, it's a very interesting season structure. The season is definitely way different. How we're unlocking all the characters is way different. Um, you're going to have to probably grind a lot or spend money or get really lucky on the capsules in order to unlock Vanellope and Calhoun. And unfortunately, next season, one of those options, aka grinding a lot, is going away and you'll either have to get super lucky with your two free capsules in each part of the pass or spend money in order to get the characters. Unfortunately, that's just the matter, um, the, the, the situation we've been dealt with, unfortunately. But yeah, for this season, I think it's okay because we can still grind for Vanellope and Sargent. Um, but next season, I think it is going to become a big problem. But we'll talk about that some other day. That is how you unlock all the Wreck-It Ralph characters. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will catch you all in the next video. Thank you all so much for watching. Peace out.